Welcome to Dayless Class, brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. I would like to start this video by thanking our local Lowell's Hillsboro. Thank you for donating the yardsticks we will be using for this project. Let's start by gathering all the materials we will need. A yardstick, four dowels, a ruler, two golf balls, a cup, a tissue paper, and tape. Other things that you do not see here but will need include scissors to help you cut the tape and a box or books to help you prop up your amp. In this video, I will also be using a scale, which you might have noticed is not included in your kit. It's okay though, just make sure you copy the same data on your worksheet. We will start by measuring out the mass of our cup with our tissue paper. In this case, mine weighs 0.004 kilograms. I will now place a small ball in the cup. The scale says it weighs 0.003 kilograms. I will now weigh my heavier ball, which has a mass of 0.045 kilograms. To begin assembling your ramp, you will need the yardstick and two dowels along with tape and scissors. Take one of your dowels and tape it along one at the side, then do the same with the other one. Make sure that you have enough tape so your dowels are secure. This will prevent your balls from falling off the ramp. It's now time to get your box or books or whatever you can find to prop up your ramp. Up next, you will need your other two dowels that you have left. Your dowel should be one inch away from the ramp. To determine how far apart you will need to place your dowels, place your cup in between them. Make sure that your cup will be able to run freely, but it will not be loose around it. I am now measuring the height of my ramp, along with the height of my golf balls. The big golf ball was an inch and a half, while the small golf ball was an inch and a quarter. Now that our ramp is finally set up, let's talk about potential energy. Potential energy is energy stored in an object due to the position above the Earth's surface. To calculate potential energy, you will need to know three things. The mass of an object, the gravitational strength, and the height of an object in relation to the Earth's surface. I have provided you with an example. However, you may get a different answer because your ramp might be either higher or lower. Now, let's learn about kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is an object that is in motion and that has the ability to do work. That means that it can apply force with the motion that it has going on. Kinetic energy is measured in joules. To calculate the kinetic energy, your equation would look something like this. Kinetic energy equals half of the mass of the object in kilograms times the velocity of the object in meters per second squared. In your kit, you will have a worksheet in this worksheet, you will record your mass of the ball, the mass of the cup, the initial height of the ball, and the distance traveled by the cup after you have rolled down your ball down the ramp. Once you are done with three trials, find the average of the distance traveled by the cup. When measuring the distance traveled, I did use inches. However, the worksheet does ask for meters. If this is an issue that you came across, use Google or any other site that will allow you to convert inches into meters. Do this with a light ball and then do this with a heavy ball. What do you notice? Based on my observations, the cup did not travel very far with the small ball. However, when I used the big ball, the cup traveled a far greater distance. Comment down below your findings. How tall was your ramp? How far did your cup travel? Let me know below. Thank you for joining us today.